Welcome back to another episode, Tackle Boys. Today, we're gonna go find some sea urchin in Half Moon Bay. So it's super low tide right now. In about 30 minutes, we'll have a negative foot low tide. And what we're gonna do is go out right to the edge of the rocks where you normally can't access. Um, it's like, I don't know, at high tide, probably four feet, five feet deep there. But right now, we can walk out there and get the sea urchin with our hands. We're gonna collect probably 10 or 15 of them. You can keep 35 a day, but we don't need that many. I'm here with my wife, Kathleen. Yeah. Beautiful Kathleen. So what we're gonna do is get sea urchin, and then after we get 10 or 15, we're gonna look around in these little tide pools to see if we can find some red rock crab. So stick around with us. I'm gonna show you how to find them, how to extract them, how to clean them, and hopefully how to eat them. So come along for the ride. Thanks for tuning in. Let's do this. All right, everybody, we got our first sea urchin. It's right here. You can see it's points, little pointy, pointy points are sticking out. This is a purple guy. Uh, these sea urchin, watch this, if I touch it, its bristles start to move, it's really cool. These sea urchin, unlike some of the ones found elsewhere in the Pacific, like in Hawaii, they're not venomous, uh, and the spikes aren't really that sharp. You should be careful with them, but you don't have to be worried too much about it poking you. Um, and I'm going to show you really quick how to get it out. So basically when you locate one, uh, last time we had a trowel, this time we're going to try and use a screwdriver. You just poke it in along the rim. They sit inside these little cups. You just poke it in along the rim of this cup and then pry out. And then you got yourself a beautiful fresh purple sea urchin, AKA uni. So what we're gonna do is crack these open later. Woo! Crack these open later and uh, see if we can find the good stuff on the inside. I see some more right over here. We're gonna keep going. As soon as you start seeing them, they're everywhere. I got a bunch over here too. This the screwdriver is so much easier. There's another good one. See that bad boy? What a beaut. That's pretty neat. <laughs> pretty neat right there you don't have to feel too bad about taking these they um, they kind of mess up habitat for other critters that live in these tide pools you can keep 35 a day for a reason so I don't feel too bad taking them out of here this one doesn't want to cooperate though I don't want to break it go if you come out here for sea urchin they're easy to find and they're super tasty you do need a fishing license you don't need a permit or anything but you should buy a California recreational fishing license before you come out here and harvest that is the law so definitely do that oh this guy looks like its mouth is a little bit open that might be from me. I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. Right here. What a beautiful day though. Woo! All these little holes have been created by urchins. We've got some, some sea anemones here. All this little critters all over the place, seaweed. And then you can see down here, series of urchin from really tiny to a little bit bigger. So I'm not kidding when I say like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, just right here. They're all over the place, so they're not too hard to get. And this is what we're looking for, except much bigger. It's a little red rock crab shell. It must have molted or shedded at some point. That's what we're looking for here in a second. I've got right now eight. I've got eight uni. I only want two more. This is a big boy zone right here. This is the big boy zone. There's a good one. There's a good one. Woo! I'm out here. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. 
All right, I'm gonna go meet up with Kathleen. We're gonna look for some crabs in a second. We're almost at full low tide. These are really cool. I need to learn more about what all these are called. If you're watching this and you know the names of these and all these little critters, I'd love to know. So drop it in the comments section below. I got a lot to learn, but I'm excited to learn it. Now we're on the zone. We're looking for red rock crabs. And I, I think we never found one, so. We, yeah, we've seen a couple. We think the technique is to look under rocks and under seaweed for one that might be hiding. So that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, they're so bright red. You should be able to see them. A lot of them have been rusty colored today though. Yeah. So we'll turn on the camera if we spot one. Little Patrick. Wow. This might be a good spot. That is so cool. Slimer guys. It looks like it ate a sea urchin. I don't know if they eat them, but that would be wild if it did. We've been looking for a while now. No crabs. Well, Kathleen's flipping over little tiny rocks and finding teeny tinies. And nothing we want to keep. So we're just gonna keep looking. Looks like this guy's about to do some poke pulling. I'll have to come out here and try that and make a video out of that too. Hey, look, little rockfish. We're at ultra low tide right now. Negative one foot. And then you're spotting hundreds of urchins right here. It's just everywhere you look. If I see a really big, a big mama, a big boy, a big girl mama, I'll probably, I'll probably snatch it up. There, there's no sea urchins. And then boom, hundreds of sea urchins. You gotta hit it at the right tide, and then do stuff like this. Check it out. Hundreds. Crab people, crab people. Walk like crabs, look like people. watch my steps so I don't accidentally crack one. Where are these crabs at? What is this thing? There's lots of them here. There's lots of them. Look. Oh! <laughs> yeah! Hard! <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh! That thing went flying. What are these things? This guy's missing some claws. It looks like a bug. Look at these weirdos. This must be what the seagulls are eating. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think they're anything we really want to eat. Especially since I'm Look like spiders. Ugh. For real spiders. All right, that's it. That's a wrap. We found like 12 sea urchin. You found 11. I found one. We found one big one. In our cool four ocean bag, we picked up a little trash on the way too in honor of what they're doing at 4 Ocean. If you don't know what they are, check them out. I don't know, put a link in the description or something. <laughs> it's pretty cool. We're gonna come back out and try both crab snare and poke pole. I'll make a video for that. So if you like what you saw, feel free to drop a like and comment below if you know what that crab was that we found in the seaweed. Thanks for watching, we'll see you soon. Peace. Go sit. All right, watch and learn, dude. There's our little guy, a little urchin head. <laughs> One little urchin hat. <laughs> She's not so sure about that. All right, so we're going to show you how to clean these really quickly. It's super easy. This is the top. This is the bottom. There's a little beak down here that's really gross. Kathleen, Kathleen really hates it. It really it freaks like my bean. But this is a quick way to clean it. I don't know if this is the right way. But pretty much everyone has scissors at their house. So all you have to do is cut a circle around the beak. 
once you free the B cup, you can then kind of open the hole up just a little bit bigger. There's like a little lip on the inside of there. And if you don't make the hole big enough, then the next step is a harder. So I just usually cut it out. Yeah, just trying to make a nice big opening. Ooh, gross. So dump it upside down. I guess seawater. Seawater in the beak. And then cut a slit on this side. Cut a slit on this side. And all you have to do is break it open. And on that beautiful orange stuff is what you're going to eat. Mm -hmm. The rest of this is just seaweed. Yeah. It's not going to hurt you at all. You basically just take it out and clean it. And then you can uh, scoop out the orange with a spoon or your fingers, and then I drop it into an ice bath to keep it fresh. Say bye, Kashi. Ooh.